in the interest of partial disclosure, I have something cooking back at the base. I think we've already been through this one multiple times, so uh, let's just go ahead and run in. I have something set up, and oh, I didn't mean to bring this. Oh, I guess I did because we don't have the pickaxe handy. All right, well then, I guess we're going to be using that today on top of using the chainsaw for cutting through wood. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it's something that involves a lot of steel and like mechanical parts and stuff like that in the workbench. So we'll check on it later, but uh, not today, most likely, because uh, we're going to be busy today, but we will get to it eventually. So just a little a, a teaser for you so that you can be like, ooh, what are we making? Well, I mean, you can pretty much guess. I told you it's a lot of steel and mechanical parts and uh, we need more headlights and that sort of stuff. So, I, I mean, really, I'm not... You know. Hey, there's more electrical parts. That's actually kind of handy. <laughs> All right. So, this is a Tier 4 Clear and Fetch quest. A Fetch and Clear, a Clear and Fetch. That we got from... Uh, I don't remember who. I think maybe Trader Bob to the south is the one who was like, Hey, I need you to go find something for me. And while you're there, kill all of the zombies as well. Pretty sure he talks just like that, too. He's he's a very refined gentleman. Hey, look at that. We can make a stun baiton now. That's pretty exciting. I mean, if you're into stun baitons and stuff like that. Which, we're not this playthrough. Um, a previous one, we definitely did that. Hey, look at that laser sight mod schematic. We didn't have that yet, either. That's pretty exciting. I do like those. Those are pretty fun. And then we'll just go ahead and read a Spear Hunter book that we have already read. So before we move along too far here, I'm kind of convinced I can do this. Maybe I shouldn't be convinced that I can do this. Ha ha! I, I thought I could. Yes. I can hit it. Oh, look at that. Purple rifle without even actually going and breaking stuff. How's that for respectful? For not destroying all of this stuff in this sacred place, which I definitely didn't just violate by doing that. Not at all. Alright, I'm gonna get around the corner here. Buddy. Just gonna cut you down to size, because no thanks on stuff. So lots of coffins here that we get to destroy and see if we can get any diamonds and gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Man, before you know it, it's going to be silver and gold time of the year. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know your burrow lives. In which case, here is your homework for the day. Report back to me, and I am not joking when I'm asking you to do this. Report back to me with your favorite Burl Ives Christmas song. I will share mine with you, which is um, probably 12 Days of Christmas, because he's so drunk when he's singing it. It's hilarious, and I just adore it. It really is a good time. But you let me know. Because if it's not that one for me, then it's... Um, I'm try I can't think of the name of it. Uh, I don't know, one of the more upbeat kind of fun ones. I mean, his stuff generally is pretty upbeat and fun to begin with, but... I don't know. I like me some Burl. What can I say? Anyway, continuing on, we need to remember that this is indeed a fetch quest. It's going to be upstairs. So... Not any particular burning need right now to be looking for it. My bad, I didn't mean to do that. I'll just go ahead and reload for the giggles. There was a thing here. There we go. Banded armor plating mod schematic. So we can now make that. That's cool. It's good stuff. Nice silent chainsaw. Not running all the time. I like that. Unlike the auger, which is always running. Oh, now the chainsaw is running. That stinks. I want my stealth chainsaw back. That was fun. I like that. The stealth saw. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, I have a deep last. Oh, that's why. Because you're a problem. Are we good now? Okay. Uh, I guess what I should have done is had that. Come on. Down there. And then we would have been fine. Do we have another one? Tree abrasion, deep laceration. Okay, so that's the first aid kit one. Got it. Anyway, 
I was busy doing stuff before these jerks interrupted. I'm doing a little grave digging here, so, you know, leave me alone and stuff. Okay, and then we should come around the corner here where there will be friends awaiting us. If you're wondering if I'm intentionally not using a firearm, I don't know if that it's intentional, but it's really not been necessary. So I kind of figured we can just hack and slash and it'll be fine. And if it gets too crazy, well, then we bust out the old machine gun or something, because that thing is all locked and loaded and ready to go. Look at this thing. It holds 119 rounds, which is, I don't know, about where it was before as a quality two. Oh, hi, sir. One nice power attack, one nice regular attack, and Big Sir has collapsed. Much like the bridge collapsed by Big Sir a couple years ago. That was actually pretty awful. It's gonna be a little trickier up here because there will be more zombies. Adam, your everything is showing. Oh, I like that delayed spin. Okay. And then I think what we should be able to do is get everyone's attention in here. And then we can just very slowly take out, take out the zombies this way. Come on, guys. Um. Hello. Over here, dummy. Thank you not that hard. Oh, these zombies. They did not graduate at the top of their class, let me tell you. No, no, no. No exploding, good sir. No exploding. I guess, um... No, it is damaged. Okay. I say, I guess we could just pick it up and move along, but... I guess not, technically. There should be a few more zombies around, I thought. Aside from them, anyway. Okay. Let's just see what's under the staircase. Wow, that was not worth... Not worth the effort at all. Okay. Up we go, then. Up we go. If you start your swing before you go around the corner, you have a better chance of hitting them without them hitting you. Or so the theory goes. We'll just keep on climbing. Since technically we're supposed to end up here. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with going in the order we're designed to go. That's okay by me. Green, sir. Oh. I'm not doing too shabby so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've definitely lost some health here. But not too bad overall. There are a lot of bodies in here. And there are a lot of zombies who are going to get up over there. Hey, buddy. So this is not going to be a happy room. Uh, let's go over here. And I know. Could have stealthed that guy. Don't care. I'm okay with this. Doesn't matter too much. That should have gotten some attention, so... We'll just back up just a, a skosh here. Oh, that looked painful. I think that guy's gonna be feeling that tomorrow. Oof. Well, I mean, if he's not cut down to pieces, he'll be feeling that tomorrow. I might want to switch to the club. I'm really trying to just like the machete, and I, I think I've gotten to a pretty good point with it, but there are certain instances in which I'm not 
super happy about it or I'm a little concerned about using it. Maybe that's the better way to phrase it. There are certain angles I'm not terribly adept at using it with. That's really what it comes down to, so... Everything's quiet now. I think we already checked in here. Nope, we didn't check in here. How about that? All right, splinty splint. So over here should be pretty much good now. I think everyone got up and ran. Still got to go upstairs, so we'll, we'll get there eventually. And then... I guess uh, this is where we go next. If I remember right... Okay, and then there should be a safe in here. Um, well, let's go ahead and open that, because I think we'll need it soon. That worked just fine. I don't know that that was worth the trouble, but I'll take it. I mean, that's, you know, that's a good solid 12 zombies, more or less. Oh, look at that. Shotgun Messiah 5. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. Hmm. I was hoping for a... Ta -da! Not that. No one asked you. But not to be. That's fine. So we're still going up, still going up for wherever our bag is. It's going to be somewhere right in here. Oh no, it's still up. Holy cow, dude. It's still up. We're going higher and higher. Straight up we'll climb. Holy crap. Uh, this is where I will switch to a different weapon. And I regret my decision immediately. It's fine. So we have cleared the area. We've done half of what we've been asked to do. So that's good. And we still need to get... It's going to be right here. By the looks of it. The bag. Where are you? Oh, you're on the outside over there. Got it. Well, aren't you a clever one? Hiding all the way over here. Must mean the courier was like, Oh crap, I'm going to lose this. Allow me to put it somewhere where no one will find it. Good job. Well, well done. Let's go ahead and use some of that gasoline. All right, that guy's open, so now we can crack open all of these. Not bad. And uh, we'll start with these. Because <laughs> uh, these are the things we probably need right now. Here, let's resort this so I can scrap uh, all these guys at one time. And I don't even know why I have that. I'm just going to get rid of that. And that's not even worth bothering with. So we'll scrap that and we'll scrap those. Those are really not worth using at the moment. Okay, we'll take all that. Working stiff box. Okay, we'll take all that. Gun store box. Okay, we'll take all that. Weapons bag. Okay, we'll take all that. And hardened chest. Wow. Hot, hot garbage. Although... Where are we at here? The jacket could be good. That is considerably better armor-wise. Well, maybe not considerably, but it is better. But it comes at the cost of losing a couple of those mods. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm going to have to think about that one. I would I would probably be okay with it if we only lost one, but if we're losing two, I don't know. That still might not be enough at this point because I, I don't necessarily feel like we're hurting for armor or anything else at this point, so I don't know that I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Oh, day 34. What do we have here? Uh, we do have some money on hand. Look at that. There's a trader right nearby somewhere. Where are you? Oh, he's going to be over there. Well, before we do that, uh, let's go into here. 
right quick. There are a whole host of buildings out here that we still haven't even gone to. Like, fun ones that I genuinely enjoy, so... I'll go ahead and hit one or two. I mean, we don't need to kill this much time as we're going to kill going in here, but... That's fine. Um, sure. Take all the things. I guess at this point, uh, let's see. Let me put down the things I don't want to sell. Oh, I do need to do some work while I'm here. Let's let's do that. We'll do some work while we're here. And let's see, I don't want to sell those guys. And that's really about it, except for foodstuffs. Otherwise, I'm kind of like, I don't really care. Doesn't really matter all that much to me. The rest of it we can pretty much sell. It's okay. Here, we'll keep those guys because we need them. And then we'll just scrap you to get you to comply. There. That'll be fine. So before we go inside, we do need some more headlights. As I was mentioning, we don't have enough headlights. I, I believe I said that early on in this episode. If I didn't, then we need some additional headlights for the current project in the workbench back at the base. So looks like we got one headlight out of that. One headlight. Okay, so we're not there yet. We'll have a little more to do. That's fine. We're getting there. This door is locked. That door is locked. This door is also locked. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to guess that that is the way in. Because I don't remember this place having an alternate entrance. This is one of those that I don't believe it would qualify under the definition of the new dungeon. Well, it's not even new anymore, but the, the dungeon sort of POIs. Man, in the afterlife, still waiting for them to... Give them a little, uh, postal service. I mean, what is this? The DMV? The DMV, if you're not familiar with it in California, is known as being the butt of all jokes when it comes to really slow, terrible service. So, just so you kind of have that. Now you know. That, that's where that joke comes from. Okay, that was really bad. Let's just stop fooling around here. Not super concerned right now about health, but maybe I will. Oh no, we put those in the bike. Never mind. Eh, we'll be fine. Just don't get hit, and it'll be, it'll be okay. I was gonna say I think this one has some safes in it. If I remember correctly, and it'll have a couple more downstairs. These guys are not too bad to cut through. There's a little bit of me that feels like I'm playing a little payday too by cutting in all these safes, but uh, you know, whatever. Is what is. All that sort of jazz. Quite a few weapons stored in the safe right behind the desk. That is our first auto, well it's not an auto shotgun, but it's an auto shotgun. Holy crap, dude. That is, um, I hate to say it, but it's, it's my go-to weapon. In part because it's just so good. Like, how can you not like the auto shotgun? It, it just... Ah, oh, goodness. It's too good. Oh, I guess we made too much noise. I hear a screamer. Well, here, let me... Uh, let me kind of get myself in a slightly better defensible spot here. Because we really don't have much health, so this could be dangerous. I need to not make any assumptions right now. Oh, I want that. Okay. Scrap the nails. And then we gotta go through some stuff here. Let's see, I'm just gonna take a really... Ah, oh, goodness. Let's see, that can be broken down into brass. We'll scrap those guys. 167, we'll call that cheap enough to scrap. Springs, we'll scrap them. Here, we've got 42 shotgun shells that we can use right now. 
This thing makes so much noise. Great. Okay. I don't know if we're going to end up going shotgun. I just, I tell you, I'm not, I'm not lying when I say I just love the crap out of this gun. It is so good. And it is so worth all of the pain and misery that comes with all of the screamers that it summons. Because it is just too good. You spend some points on shotgun and holy crap, dude. A solid auto shotgun. Man, that's like, that's all I need. I'm good. I'm done. Don't need anything else. That is basically all that's needed in the game. No food. No water. No health. Just an auto shotgun. Considering this was supposed to be just like a little side trip, this is, uh... <laughs> This is great. I think this this is great. I'm not even joking. This is this is excellent. Can we modify you and put that scope on there? I oh, could put the silencer on there. I lost the scope. Where are you? Scope. Scope. Where's the mouthwash? Where'd it go? Right there. So we can't put that on there. That's fine. We can put it on this guy though. I know that much here. We'll put both of those on there. That way that saves us a couple inventory slots, and then I guess here we can modify you and put that on there. I mean, I wasn't even really necessarily planning on keeping that. It's probably worth nothing to sell, but whatever. Some spear parts. Uh, brr. 240 bucks for that. 60 for a single silver nugget. Here, fine, we'll do that. And then gun safe. Oh, another shotgun. Another shoddy. I mean, it's better than that one, but it's in worse condition. So here, we'll take that, and then... I guess what we can probably do is take this guy and... Maybe modify the spear and put that on there, and we can sell that. Call that good. Works for me. I'm gonna say that is where we leave this one. We will resume on another one. Oh, shoot. I've got one more safe to go through. Well... We will resume on another one when we will have, come on, been finished with all of the drilling and stuff so that there is nothing remaining and we have gone through all of the loot and we know exactly what's going on. So till then, thanks for watching. Ah, oh, crap. See you later.